Google Cloud Compute Engine allows you to run a thing called a salt tenant node, and salt tenant nodes are often used to handle licensing requirements. From a backup and DR perspective, if you go to backup and recover backup and use the Compute Engine option to discover and protect Google Cloud Compute Engine VM instances, it doesn't matter whether or not those VM instances are running in a salt tenant node. The only time it matters is when you go backup and recover, recover. When you select an instance and take the option to mount as a new compute engine instance, you'll notice that there is a sole tenancy box. The default is none. Now, it's important if you have a requirement to recover into the sole tenant that you don't leave it on none. Change it to the relevant node group or to a node within the relevant node group. The other thing to be aware of is that the machine type that you select as part of the new compute engine instance needs to match the node type for the selected node or node group. So make sure that those things are the same. And in fact, if you notice that the only machine types I have available now are the C2 standard, which makes sense because I'm mounting into a node group that it is C2 standard.